In this video, I will be painting a simple cubism style painting with bright colors. I will rearrange the shapes on my drawing to show them from different perspectives. Then I'll paint the shapes in complementary colors to make the painting more appealing. This is a pencil drawing I'll be using for this demonstration. I do have another drawing which will actually be my finished drawing and I'm going to use it to trace as I go along just to speed up this video a little bit. With cubism you can add shapes from different perspectives. I will use a kneaded eraser to move this shape that represents an eye. This will give me more of a perspective as if I was looking from below and uh, more to the right side of the face. I'll move the nose over to a more centered on the face perspective. I'll leave the lips where they are giving me a side of the face perspective. I'll add another eye. From a different perspective. This is the drawing. Oh, we got one more line. This is the drawing I'll transfer to an 8 by 10 canvas and then I'll paint it. Now I'm going to transfer my drawing onto this canvas board. It's an 8 inch by 10 inch canvas board. The way I normally do it is I'll just rub the graphite on the back of the drawing Then I put it on top of my canvas board. And I'll go over the outline with a pen.
I'll go ahead and finish this off camera. When I finish painting the colors on my painting, I will go over the outline with black paint. So in order not to lose my outline, at this point I want to go over the lines with a pen. I'll do this off camera. The colors I'll be using are golden, open, slow drying acrylics. On my palette, I have titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, yellow ochre, orange, cobalt blue, permanent light green, iridescent gold, diaxamine purple, and black. I probably will not be using the yellow ochre. I'm going to start painting with a purple paint. The thing is, I the purple is darker than I care to paint with. So what I'll do is I'll lighten it up with uh, with white. I'll go ahead and finish painting the purple color off camera just so my video doesn't get too boring. I'll now paint using the yellow paint. And I like to mix a little white with a yellow because it seems the white seems to make the yellow brighter yet. Now the purple and the yellow are complementary colors, so they really go well together. I'll go ahead and finish painting the yellow areas off camera and try to keep this video uh, shorter instead of get it to be too boring. I went ahead and painted the orange on the eyelids. Now I'll go ahead and paint the areas with a blue paint. Now blue and orange are complementary colors, 
so they go well together. I'll go ahead and finish the blue off, uh, off, the, off the video. I will now paint the red areas of my painting. I'll go ahead and finish this off camera. And now I'll go ahead and paint the green areas. I'll go ahead and finish this off camera. I finished painting the green areas. Uh, the green and the red are complementary colors, so they go well together. What I'll do now is I'm going to paint the background, and I'm going to use a neutral color, so I'm going to mix a gray, just a black and a white. And this way, I won't have it interfere with the colors. I'll still get some contrast, but it won't interfere with the colors on the rest of the painting. I'm going to add a little more white to it. Uh, I don't want to have the same value as on any of the colors. I'll go ahead and finish painting the gray off camera. At the beginning of this video, I had planned on going over the outlines with black paint. But seeing what I have now, I think I'll just go over them with a pen again. I'll go ahead and do this off camera. I finished going over the outlines with a pen. So I'm pretty much uh, done with this. It's a fairly simple Cuban, cubism. Uh, some artists will shade it and they'll 
shade it with a light coming from different directions. Uh, I'm not going to get into that today, but I think this right here will help some people and give them a start. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it, and I appreciate you watching my video. So, you know, please subscribe and thank you for it.